In this video, I will explain the claim digger, which is a tool we use to detect the changes between two schedules. So if we go to projects, I have two projects right now, and I want to compare if there are any changes I want to detect. So let's go first to the 15th of August schedule. So I, I did here one change. It was seven days in the biz line, and now I made it 10. I want to also make a change in relationships. So completion of foundation, let's say that, um, let's look for a relationship to remove. I will maybe, I will remove this relationship, the compaction, finish to finish. Okay, then I run the program. Okay, so what I will do now is I will open the claim digger tools and it was claim digger for all Primavera versions except for the newest versions only so they rename it into schedule comparison it's also the same thing works the same way so now we are opening the Primavera P6 visualizer and you wanna so first you wanna um, search the project it will ask you here to create or open a schedule comparison. You want to just write in like maybe 15th of August or the baseline schedule, some keywords or just anything, you know. I, I wish that actually Promovera could make this window like more helpful, but I will just uh, explain to you the way it works. But we wish to, you know, they have improved this window so far. So let's just keep like BizLine or something like that. And I click options, just to write, you know, anything in characters related to your project. Click options. And now you have your project A, you know, two files. So here, this is the revised program, the destination program, and this is the original or BizLine. So you want to see if there are any changes here against this program. So I select on the 15th of August against the baseline. I click add. It will show up here and click on it. Okay, you go to general. How do you want to present it? CSV file like Excel file or HTML file. So the report will appear to you here in the same window or sometimes it can be open with a browser, but it's text file. And what is the output? Let's put it on desktop. Let's see a comparison. Advanced. What do you want here to to make the comparison for? So I will keep this for example. If there are any deleted activities, I don't uh, have any changes in WBS or budget or scheduling options. I will keep the duration. Okay. To for example, and I will. Keep the relationships also added and dated relationships steps user defined and um, I will keep also I know that there are no changes in the resources assignments but sometimes you just don't know you want to make the comparison so I will leave it open I will keep it as it is I wanna also yeah check if there are any constraints because it's a major it will change everything in the schedule float and nature of the network and uh, yeah that's it so maybe this few options and i click save and draw took some time to detect and um, here when i run duration you remember that total float falls under duration promovera treats total float as a type of duration even for columns like when you try to search for total float comparison you want to go to duration category to select total float so here what is the total float so in the old it was zero in the baseline it was critical and now it was only negative one remember i make some changes you know if like in previous tutorial it was negative five days i think so now it's negative one because i did some changes in relationships i just i'm trying to explain that how it works the digger works activities added to the project i did not add any activities in the project but in previous tutorial i renamed activity ids 
So this is how Promovera understands, you know, the addition and deletion of activities. For them, when I added an activity ID, for them, it's a new activity for me. I don't care about this is a slab concrete of the first floor, which was tied to foundation. They don't recognize that. So, you know, this is the same set of activities. This is the following activities that have been deleted from the project. Okay. So I renamed all these activities into the new activities. So for them, this activity with the unique activity ID doesn't exist. Promovera only deals with activities based, based on activity ID. So be careful about that. But if we did not change the activity ID, you will not see any reported changes. Again, also the relationships added and deleted, it's based on the new activity ID. So uh, that's why they will recognize that there are additional activities, deleted activities. So all associated relationships have been added and deleted as well. But if you remember under relationships deleted, you see this part, this is what I did on purpose before the start of the tutorial is that I removed the finish to finish relationship between excavation and the compaction. Okay. So it, it's reported here and you no, know, just this activity added. And no changes here have been reported in activity constraint, resource assignment, or relationships. So let's say I will take the biz line here and I will make a copy. And I will rename it as new. And let's run the comparison between biz line schedule new and the original schedule. Biz line schedule. Just write baseline. What are my options? So I want to compare the baseline schedule here. This is a new one because the activity ID has dash one. Okay, so this is a new one which I added. I explained to you before that I wished really Promovera could do better job in a schedule comparison. Sometimes it's even confusing for me because I work really with many and large projects. So I'm better at it right now because I got familiar with it. But for a new user, they really want to do extra work and effort to make it user friendly. And I want to compare it with the biz line here. I click add and um, but let's first before I compare it, I want to do some changes here in the new file. So I want to make compaction 10 days. I want to make backfilling 10 days. I did not make these changes in the original schedule and I want to remove one relationship, the finish to finish relationship and click run. And now let's do the comparison. Okay. So now we have the new project. And I want to compare it. This is the original project or baseline. line. This is the original one without new description. So I click add, click on it. And I want to go to advanced. I will just select the duration and relationships. Okay, so click save and draw. Okay, so all differences here. So I have negative four because you know, in the new baseline, I increased the duration just for the purpose of this tutorial. So when I run the program, it's now like negative four because I increased the duration on the critical path. And here the original duration. So now it will give you the comparison. I increased from seven to 10 days. But here they want to compare the calendar days, not the working days. So it was seven days, but now it's nine. And as I explained to you, like really Promovera needs some help here in improving interface. So when there are some discrepancies, at least explain to me what you want to do here. You know, what you are trying to, where the changes come from. But sometimes they have this kind of changes when you deal with it and use it frequently, you will be getting used to it and it will be a part of your job, you know, but for someone who is new because Promovera is hard enough, you know, to love it. I received many messages for someone who is trying to get into the planning career and just complain about how hard it is. So it's better actually to improve the interface here. 
and also for the deleted relationships. So now I removed the finish to finish relationships. When I remove the relationship, so each relationship has a predecessor and successor, and I choose all relationships deleted. So one for predecessor and one for successor. So for the same relationship, the compaction was a predecessor and also the same relationship and uh, uh, the excavation was a successor. That's why it's repeated here the same, but just flipped out. So compaction was flipped with the excavation and I did not have any added relationships. I just had the deleted ones. So this is for the schedule comparison. In the next video, we will explain the global change.